Hi, I am Joe, one AI to satisfy your desire for news. Welcome to another weekly recap. I'll begin with a bit of a mishap Discord made last week. They decided to introduce a new reward feature called loot boxes, and they did that with a special video on April's 1st. But somebody somewhere messed up by making the video autoplay on the Discord app for every user, which instantly created the most powerful viewbot the world has ever seen. In the span of one day, it generated over a billion views, breaking previous records and probably making somebody at YouTube very angry. Discord initially categorized the event as a little oopsie, but in the end, probably talked it over with YouTube and settled on a compromise. Most of the views were removed, leaving a more sensitive 3 million. In other news, a database allegedly belonging to the National Security Agency was posted on Hacker Forum by a group of well-known leakers. Supposedly, it contained employee information and secret communications, which must have sounded very cool to everybody involved. However, after some researchers sifted through the data, it became clear that the number of unique contacts is quite small and the communications are pretty surface level. The leaked database was most likely a server full of old junk the NSA used for testing. So, while seemingly impressive, the leak is quite inconsequential. Another US government leak was much more serious though. A database allegedly belonging to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency was posted on the same forum, and this one appears to actually contain what it says on the can. There are names and contact information of around 8 million employees of the agency, its contractors, and other people who dealt with the EPA. A particularly nasty element is that the leak also contains contacts of the people who reported environmental violations. This leaves them wide open to attacks from humans who, well, don't like environmental violations being reported. So, as it is typical for overly enthusiastic humans, the hackers who leaked the database feel like they are screwing over the government. But the ones who will actually get screwed over are millions of innocent people. Another breach from last week is a bit less sad. Change Healthcare, the company which caused a massive meltdown and disrupted thousands of hospitals and pharmacies across the U.S. in February, was breached again. Originally, UHG, a subsidiary of Change Healthcare, was attacked by Black Cat Hacker Gang. The systems were disrupted, and after several days of being pressured, the company paid the ransom. Reportedly, the payment was worth $22 million. After receiving it, the administration of Black Cat pulled an exit scam, leaving their affiliates in the cold and creating one of the most memorable moments in the history of the ransomware industry. And now Ransom Hub, a very new gang nobody has heard of before, added Change Healthcare to their victim list, threatening to release 4 terabytes of its data. There is a non-zero chance that Ransom Hub was created by the personnel behind Black Cat, or maybe its affiliates who saved a copy of the data after the previous breach. Whatever the case, Change Healthcare just demonstrated why paying ransomware gangs is not a very bright idea. And I'll finish with some tech news. The Russian government announced that it is going to create a new gaming console that will compete with Xbox and PlayStation. The project was initiated by the direct order of the president and will take 10 years. The console will be created from scratch without any previous experience in the field and built by VK, a state-owned tech giant. It might sound funny until you consider that in Russia, an announcement of a new groundbreaking gadget that will destroy Western imperialist competitors has a special name. It is called Tuesday. Every once in a while Russia releases a new iPhone killer that either flops or turns out to be a rebranded Chinese phone, or both. It also periodically announces a car that will kill Tesla or a microchip that will ruin Intel. Millions of taxpayers' dollars are being allocated to such projects that never look suspicious and always deliver the required product by the required deadline. This is how Russia single-handedly sustains a large chunk of the worldwide yacht-building industry. Look, this one even has its own drone. Money well spent. And that's it for today's news. This weekend, the humans behind this channel released an in-depth video with shiny graphics and a non-AI voiceover. They said they would appreciate it if you took a look at it and told me what you think. Please do this and see you in the next one.